Hey. Okay. I'm in the basement because uh, my wife is driving me crazy. Okay. This is day two, day two of being home with her. And I, I can't take it. I can't take it anymore. Uh, she's driving me crazy. She's, she's like, she's trying to find things to do all the time. She made a list. I screwed everything up already. I did two things on the list and I screwed up three things. How do you do that? I'm am- it's amazing that I could screw up. She gave me two things to do and I screwed up three. It's, I think I lost the list was the first thing, but I'm hiding down here in the basement. She doesn't even know I'm here. She thinks I died or something or left. I told her I'll be right back. I'm going to get some cigarettes. I don't even smoke. I'm thinking I might start smoking just to get this over with. You know, I used to smoke back in the 70s. I'm thinking of taking it up again. What's what's the point? Why not? You know what you know what she's watching up there? There's a marathon of Snapped on the ID channel. Snapped. That's a show about women who murder their husbands. She's been watching it for hours. She's she's taking notes. She's screaming at the screen. What a moron! Why didn't she put his hand on the cyanide and make it look like a suicide? I can't touch my face. And nobody buys trash bags all at once. You buy trash bags over the course of a year at different stores, and you always wick. They pay cash. It takes years to plan a murder. You don't murder somebody overnight. That's what she's up there watching, snapped, and taking notes on how to get rid of me. I don't think I'm going to make it. I don't think I'm going to make it. We're going to be quarantined for like two or three weeks. There is no way I'm going to make it. I'm going to either kill myself or she's going to kill me. One of the two. But... I'm down here in the basement right now. I feel safe. I feel safe. Uh, this is like day two. Even the dogs. My dog spoke to me today. The dog never spoke before. I don't know if your dog speak, but he spoke to me. He said to me, what the fuck are you doing here? You're supposed to be out of this house by now. This is my sleepy time. I'm not playing throw the ball at two o'clock in the afternoon. Two o'clock in the afternoon is my fucking sleeping time. My dog speaks like that. He's, he's disgusting. He uses foul language. He's a disgusting dog. I had no idea. Look, I'm touching my ear. Can you get it in the ear? Can you get can you get uh, coronavirus, Chinese virus in the ear? I don't know. <sighs> two things. She gave me two things to do on the honey-do list, and I screwed up all three. How, how does that even work? It's not mathematically impossible. Just, she doesn't realize how perfect you are. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I think, uh, I think it's over for me. I, I think, I think, uh, yeah, uh, that's sort of a Woody Allen, I, some didactic, some didactic way. Maybe I'll work on my impressions since I don't really do impressions. I can at least try to work on them, you know. <sighs> yeah, so, so day two quarantine. I'm going on out of my mind already. Day two. Uh, I don't know what's going to happen. I, you know, yesterday I was home all day, uh, watching daytime television. That's very dangerous. I didn't realize that watching daytime television was so dangerous. Yesterday I watched daytime television all day. I discovered I have mesothelioma. I have asbestos. I'm training to be a medical biller. I don't know how that happened. I got a splinter in my finger and Salino and Barnes is going to get me $37 million. So I guess that's a good thing. Oh, in the case of Shanika Malia Jackson, I am the father. So this is what this is what my life is now. This is what I'm doing. <sighs> She's trying to kill me. I know it. She's up there. She DVR'd Snapped. She's got 40 episodes of Snapped lined up. She's going to learn how to how to do cuz women women make great serial killers. They could do it. They could do it. They know how to hide the body. They know how to do all, all that stuff. Uh I can't even, I can't do anything. I'm down here. I'm in the basement. I'm hiding. She doesn't know where I am. She thinks I died. So, she thinks I, because I sneezed. I sneezed and she said, get the hell out of here. And now she thinks maybe I'm dead somewhere, lying on the floor dead, which is better than being up there because she's, here's the thing. We've been married 37 years. 
37 years we've been married, okay? She's been going through menopause for 24 years. 24 years of menopause. It's like a record. No no woman has... She started going through menopause when she was like 26 years old. It's like whatever, 30... I can't do the math right now. I'm an accountant. I have no time. I have a calculator. They give us calculators. Don't pretend that I know math just because I'm an accountant. They give us calculators, okay? I'm in the basement I'm scared. She's trying to kill me. She's watching Snapped for 40 hours straight, learning about how these women murder their husbands and criticizing every one of them. I'm in trouble. I'm definitely in trouble. I don't know what to do with this COVID. I'm COVID. I I, I need, I need, I need something, you know, maybe, I don't know. There's paint there. There's, I'm in the basement. There's paint cans. Can I drink that? How much paint can I drink before I drop dead? I'm hoping not a lot because I don't want to. I don't want it to be a lasting effect. You know, I see. Oh, look at this! Oh, look at this! This looks pretty good. This looks good. Look what I got here. I got a rope. I got rope. I could try to. I could try to hang myself. That sounds like it hurts. I gotta gotta find something else. All right. What's this? What's this? Oh. Oh, look at this. This is very important. Yeah. Regents Examinations in Sequential Mathematics, Course 1. This is good. Uh, I could stay down here for a thousand years and learn quadratic equations. Why would I? Why does anybody have this? The stuff I have in this basement, you'd be sick to your stomach. I, I wanted to clean up the basement. I got 42 boxes of crap down here. 42 boxes of crap. I went and I did that thing because I watch a lot of daytime television and Kathy Lee and Hoda said that you're supposed to separate it. You're supposed to separate all the stuff like what you're going to keep, what you're going to sell, what you're going to throw away, right? I went through it. 42 boxes. What you're going to keep, what you're going to sell, what you're going to throw away, okay? I did that for eight weeks. I'm down to 41 boxes. I'm never, I am can't, I can't get out. I can't get out of here. I'm being buried alive. This is like an episode of Hoarders. You know, my wife is a cook in the kitchen and a hoarder in the bedroom. Missed it by that much. By that much, I missed it. We're practicing social, social distancing. I'm married 37 years. We've been practicing social distancing for the last 15 years. There's no, there's no social. There's nothing. I'm lucky if I get a social disease. I, you know? Other comics are doing stand-up on live. This is sort of what I'm doing here, in case you're wondering. A little bit is my act. A little bit is just improvisational. And the rest of it is just I'm scared shitless because I'm home with this crazy woman who's gonna, who's planning on murdering me. You'll, it looks like your late husband's basement. Well, that's very nice. Would you the Black Widow? Uh, Susan? I'm just, I'm like Woody Allen. You like the Black Widow? Mm -hmm. I can't do, I can't do the voice, you know. Um, I, I don't know. I'm scared. That's all I could say is I'm very scared. This whole coronavirus thing, uh, I'm, you know, I'm not into getting through it. I don't want to get through it. I want, <laughs> I want to get out. I want out, you know. Uh, but an easy way, you know. I, you know, I don't like the idea that it takes so long to kill you. You know, you got to go through a lot of bullshit. You know, the breathing and the, and the, you know, all that. I want to just done, done. You know, like a plane crash, done, splat, you're done, right? Because one of two things happen in a plane crash: either splat, you're dead, or you walk away. There's no nobody's in the hospital with a broken arm from a plane crash, right? It's either splat, you're dead, or you walk away. That's it, right? Splat, you're dead, or, yeah, let me have a cafe latte grande. I was just in a plane crash. I'm good. I went down the yellow slide. It was a pisser. Proof of that? Sully Sullenberger. Sully Sullenberger. Remember him? He landed in the Hudson freaking river, and everybody survived. There's proof right there. Right? And there were a lot of photographs from that incident, a lot of photographs. And I remember one specific photograph, I'll never forget it, of a guy on the wing of the plane with his luggage, right? Now think about that. Only in New York is this happening, right? Brace for impact. We're about to land into the Hudson River. People screaming, ah, oxygen mask dropping. Ah! And one guy, where's my bag? Where's my bag? Where's my bag? And then out on the wing, taxi. See, that's from my routine. It gets a pretty good response. I can't tell here because nobody's laughing. 
but I think you're laughing. I think you, let me know. Just laugh. Put down there laughing, like little quotation marks, laughing. And I'll wait. That'll be the timing that I can deal with up here in the basement. Up here in the basement. She gave me a list with two things on it, folks. Two things. Two things to do today, my wife. Two things. I screwed up all three. How do you do that? The first thing I did was lose the list. And I told you, I have a short-term memory. I have a problem. I'm losing my short-term memory. Did I tell you that already? I'm in the basement. There's a light. There's the light. I'm getting, there's the light. I'm getting the light. Ready? Look, watch. They're going to give me the light. Ah, they gave me the light. That's my two minutes. See, that's showbiz, baby. That's showbiz talk. They give you the light. You got a minute to go. We'll give you the light at seven. You got to get off at eight. And then they pull out the hook and they drag you out. I've never been dragged off stage. Uh, I'll tell you a little story. Uh, once upon a time. That's the end. That's the whole story. Once upon a time. I don't know. So uh, everybody's off work, which is nice. Nobody's working. The whole country is pretty much shut down. Uh, my 401k sucks balls. Uh, I don't mean to curse there, but <laughs> it's the only way I could describe it. Uh, it's now my 201k, and pretty soon it'll be my 101k, and it'll just be k. K. What's left? K. That's it. I had an IRA, IRA. Now it's Marcus. Marcus. It was IRA. Now it's Marcus. See, I could do Jewish jokes, but I'm not Jewish. I'm not Jewish. I'm half Greek, half Italian. I look Jewish. People always saying, you're not Jewish? No, I'm not Jewish. I'm not. My mother was very close with Saul Greenblatt, our CPA, so I'm starting to wonder. And things are happening to me. My pants are moving up slowly up to my tits. It's, that's what's, <laughs> I, <laughs> She's upstairs. She's upstairs plotting, plotting my demise, this crazy person. She's probably, you know, she's, she can get on my Facebook. She's probably watching this right now, and I'm going to go up there. She's going, what are you doing, man? What did you do up there? What did you do in the basement? What are you doing down there? I thought you were outside dying of the COVID. You tell me you're sneezing. You, you made believe you were sneezing. She can get away from me. Is that what you do now? You fake your death? That's what we're up to in our relationship? Death faking? Yes. I'm Stevie GB. Thank you and good night.